What up, people? Welcome back to my channel and all my sheer stupidities. I'm Jose from Gianna's Auto, LLC, and I'm working on the MR2 again. Stay tuned. So today, I'm working on the MR2. Um, I took the turbo uh, piping back off because, um, yeah, I got to do a couple things. Um, for the coolant side of the turbo, I didn't have these. And I said, mm, let me just put it like that. I'll tighten it really good and it won't leak. When I pressure tested it, it was a different story. It leaked. So, if air leaks, water's going to leak. Um, but yeah, um, I lost a bunch of the other videos that I did. Um, I did a couple of videos with my son, messing with him. We was working on the MR2, and uh, yeah, I lost it. But what, uh, what I did do on the video that I lost, I'll show you right now. So... Um, I did a base plate for the, um, shifter box. Um, it's bolted on. And, um, another thing that I did that I, I'm pretty sure I did it in another video, but, um, the shift cable, the neutral, say, the neutral cable, I cut it, made it shorter, fit, fixed the threads, and now she shifts. So we're good. <clears throat> that's that's reverse so yeah uh, yeah i know a lot of people are going to probably tell me give me a couple, bunch of comments in my instagram oh you don't have to cut them i'm running aftermarket cables so yes you do and if you see it it's a k-tune so you have to cut them no one told me that you had to cut them so yeah there's that now another thing that i'm going to be running for my is I'm running a tablet to run my gauges. I'm gonna have fuel here and temperature, but speedometer, odometer, boost, I'm gonna have on the tablet so that I can control everything through my tablet. It all works, it's connected to my to my ECU. Um, I just have to make a plate to mount it there so that I can use all my, um, all my stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna 3D print a thing there. Maybe it says Gianna's or J and J's. I don't know. But yeah, um, you guys haven't missed much. Um, well, you missed a lot because I showed the video where I was welding the plate, painted it, um, welding nuts behind it so I could put screws on the shifter box, all that other good stuff. Um, but I had a, it got lost. It got lost. Um, but today what I'm doing is I'm removing the housing um, the, the intake housing and the oil cartridge so that I can put these Stupid little guys in there and Yeah, stop the leak because I don't want my turbo leaking coolant I don't want my car to overheat and I want my turbo to be happy. So it's a happy medium so Yeah let me get started on that. I'll show you the progress later. Okay. <clears throat> so, the progress was that I had to stop the video yesterday because, well, I had to stop working on MR2 yesterday because it sprung a leak. And um, these little guys, they didn't work. <laughs> I took the wrong fitting to the <laughs> to the auto parts, and I'm like, oh damn, it no, I, they gotta be bigger, they gotta be bigger, they gotta be bigger. It's good, a really good thing that a friend of mine that works there said, no, 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 here, take these other ones because you know whatever, they're only f I think they were like two bucks. So these other ones, I, I don't know if you can see it, but right in between there is the new gaskets oh there you go that one's better <clears throat> there it goes focus eh, there it goes eh, focus 
There you go. So, I just had to make them a little tiny bit bigger in the center. Um, this one was way too big. Like, way too big. So, it is what it is now. Um, it's on. Um, as you can see, I'm filling it up with only water. I want to make sure that there are no leaks. I don't want surprises later on. Oh, look, my shit is leaking. I can't drive my car. <clears throat> no, fuck that. Sorry, I didn't say that. Um, yeah, I want to make sure that there's no leaks. I'm going to wait till it... Um, just like the brakes, I, I'm gravity bleeding it for now. I'm not putting any pressure. Um, because if you put pressure now and everything is, see, you know, everything is seated... Yeah, all you're gonna hear is air. So I want everything to, I want 100% um, water to be in the system. <clears throat> so then when I um, pressure test it, there's water and there's no air inside the system. So yeah, um, unfortunately, like always, I'm by myself. So, you know, it's gonna take me a little bit, while, it's gonna take a little while. So, you know, it, whatever. It could take its time. Um, I'm not in a rush anymore. I already missed every show that I wanted to take it to. So, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know. Okay, people. So, I pre uh, well, I didn't pressure test it. Um, there were no leaks. It's funny. Um, there was, it, it, it held water. Um, <clears throat> I didn't pressure test it. I used hot water because... You know, I got access to hot water, but, um, yeah, so I, I, I got a, oh, I put, I, <laughs> I put it across the street already. Um, I have a heater, a, a propane heater, put the water, a thing of water on there, dumped it in there so it can have hot water in it and it didn't leak, which is a good thing. And some of it I put boiling, but when I looked underneath the car, it was like a little, a little. A little snake, a little snake trip, and I found out what it was. So, let me see if you can see it. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that black tube right there, the holes is, um, oh, there it goes. That stupid little shit right there got kinked. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta take the pipe out and put a new seal because I'm that one's already boop, it's already so I gotta take the tube out, put a new seal, and I think that it'll it should be 100% leak free. Once I pressure test it, I'm gonna use boiling boiling water um, to heat everything up. <clears throat> um, so it could be nice and warm. I don't want to do it with the engine running. Um, you know, it's, yeah, I don't want to do it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that and, um, but I'm not going to do that today because I have some other things to do. Um, yeah, but that's why I'm going to leave this video. Um, I don't have time. I've been working on this thing all day. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, on the next episode, I'm going to show you uh, the cooling system all done. Um, I'm going to change the oil again because, of course, all the condensation and the, and the flood water that was in it, it's disgusting. So, I'm going to take it next door, and I'm going to have them change the oil. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to leave it running and see what it does. It's either going to be happy or blow the fuck up. So, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. I'm Jose from Gianna's Auto. And if you, like always, if you like, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get the videos right away. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.